This video is sponsored by Malwarebytes. So I wanna start with a question and give me an honest answer. Is the device that you are watching this video on secure? Is it safe from malware, viruses, or any spyware that could be on it? So this year's Data Privacy Day, it seems like there's no better time than now to sort of help give a guideline, a roadmap, to kind of keep your information safe and secure. And the reality is there are a lot of tools out there that are available that can do this for you. Some are free, some cost money. A lot of them are a la carte. Uh, I've teamed up this year with Malwarebytes and they've been leading this industry for the past 13 years. To try to keep your information, all everything about you private, safe, and secure. My goal isn't to tell you what you should use, just give you the tools to know what you should do to protect yourself. So let's start with like the big daddy, what we're using all the time on like whatever device, the browser. And for a lot of years, the only difference between these browsers was like an icon. And that was about it, it was the same experience. That's not really the case anymore. Browsers are doing different things and giving you kind of a different version of the internet depending on which one you want to use. There are a ton of browsers that'll remove ads and trackers. Apple Safari is kind of an example of one that's doubled down on security. And Safari for a lot of users is great, uh, but some things it doesn't do that well. And for a lot of folks who are really like in deep with the Google ecosystem, Chrome is just a better, easier choice. If you are one of the people who are using the big browser, so Firefox, Chrome, and Edge, uh, there is a pretty easy solution to keep your information and what you're doing online generally more secure. Malwarebytes is a product called BrowserGuard. So totally free, it's a browser extension that's going to crush ads, third-party ad trackers, block malicious websites from ever loading uh, or taking over your browser. And without those trackers even loading, whatever you're doing online is at the very least more secure and private. See, now you've got your browser safe and that's like a giant, huge step to keeping sort of what you're doing online safe and secure. But the other part of that equation is usually the internet that you are connected to. Even if it's your home, your internet provider can still see a lot of the times what you're doing online. Uh, that's why for instance like this, a VPN is a really good way to go. And it stands for virtual private network. Essentially it's just masking who you are and even where you're located to whatever IP you are connected to. So there are a ton of VPN options available. I've talked about them for years. Uh, Malwarebytes has a really good one called, appropriately enough, uh, Malwarebytes Privacy. And it's gonna do what you'd expect a VPN to do. It's going to keep your information private, safe, and secure while you're online. Also, it's gonna work on pretty much every device you've got. So Mac, PC, uh, and also iOS and Android will be coming soon. All you gotta do is download the app and flip a switch and you're pretty much good to go. It's a no log VPN, which is incredibly important in any VPN. It wouldn't make sense to hide what you're doing from like your internet provider, but then let your VPN see everything. Um, so the, the no track part is a really integral part of whatever VPN you decide to use. All of this is awesome. You could have passwords that are 16 keys and strange symbols inside of it. But if your computer, your device is compromised, you click on that link you shouldn't have or visit that website that you know was wrong, you have to kind of start from essentially ground zero, keep your information secure and kind of build up that wall yet again. And a, a good tool to kind of get your computer kind of reset uh, is Malwarebytes ADW Cleaner. And this has been legitimately been a go-to tool for years to remove all of that junk, pre-installed software, unwanted programs to help get your PC just straight up cleaner, optimized, and kind of back up to running in a more usable state. So then once you've got your computer you know, locked down and safe, you wanna like keep it that way. And this is where Malwarebytes Premium is gonna come in. Uh, this suite's gonna cover all your devices. Windows, Mac, Chromebooks, iOS, Android, and it will keep them all secure from potential threats and vulnerabilities. So on the computer side, so Mac and PC, you're getting a pretty robust suite of antivirus stuff. So on the iOS side, when you're browsing on Safari, it's going to sort of block those trackers from ever following you, which is awesome. 
Uh, and perhaps the best thing about this whole thing, uh, it will block unwanted calls, robocalls, political calls, any of those unknown calls that you get all the time, letting you know that it's time to enroll in insurance or whatever you might be getting. Personally, I get about three to four of those a day, so something like this has been really welcome to have. So on Android, it's gonna take things a step further. Obviously, it protects you while you browse online, but it's gonna detect and remove malware and adware and do like a full privacy audit of all the apps so you know exactly what each app has access to and then you can decide what you wanna give it. So I mean, these are just ways to keep your computer safe and secure. And obviously there are other offerings to do it, but whatever you use, just be aware that you are leaving a footprint online with whatever device you are on. It's important to protect yourself and potentially your family from people out there with malicious intent. And if you do wanna learn more about what Malwarebytes is doing, go to malwarebytes.com slash private.